buying real estate in New York City is very different than in the rest of the country. And I have this conversation all the time with people who are incredibly successful, very intelligent, who may have transacted many times outside of New York City, and they come here and they're confused. And there's a few reasons, and I'm going to cover that in this video. So the first way real estate is different in New York City than in the rest of the country is vertical living. Now, vertical living comes with rules. I can't tell you how many times I have conversations with very intelligent buyers who think that it's fine to rent a condo for six months and they'll live in it the other six months. That's actually sort of difficult to find. While I'm not saying that it doesn't exist, it's not the norm. So you have to be cognizant of the fact that buildings come with rules and you can't necessarily use it the way you want to. Another way New York City can be different is you will get pre-approved for your mortgage, but did you know that the building also must be approved? Now, again, that's not something that typically happens when you're buying a home, a single family home, but it happens in New York City. So the building will have to be approved by the bank. And that's pretty easy to find out if it is or isn't. And if for any reason it's not, your broker will work with the banker to get the building approved. Here's another way buying in New York City is different. Uh, we don't have set closing dates. This is a point of frustration. It's a pain point for many people, and we do our best to work with you. But all of our contracts will say on or about, and that date can wiggle by 30 days. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that we might be waiting for a board of directors to give approval to the purchase. Sometimes the banks take a while. Sometimes it's hard to get everybody to the closing table. You need the managing agent, the bank's attorney, the building's attorney, your attorney, the seller's attorney. That's a lot of people. So don't get fixated on a closing date because it's highly unlikely that it will happen. I certainly hope I haven't put you off from buying New York City real estate. It's a fabulous city. It's a great investment. And I encourage you to explore your options to purchase. And I'm always available to talk to you about a strategy to maximize your financial success. Hi, I'm Julia Bolin, principal of the Bolin team at the Corcoran Group. For the past 22 years, my team and I have been guiding buyers like yourself home. Reach out today, we'd be happy to help you.